Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bill. I am that expat prepper living in the Philippines. I'm gonna say uh, if I sound different, it's because I'm just hopefully getting over a uh, head cold. So bear with me on that one. All right, anyways, today I have uh, some addition, or an addition anyways, to little portable camping kits. Now I've done a review uh, before on these little guys and I've actually used this one before and I was kind of disappointed to see there's a little rust action going on here when I pulled it out of the box. Something I'll have to look into. But you can check out my review on these little tiny stoves. Now they, these cost around $3. And just to give you a recap, it has little legs and they connect uh, directly to these cans of gas, as you can see here, or through a connecting hose. Uh, and they work fairly well, right? Um, for what they are, they're a $3 emergency camp stove. They do come with a little pouch, and like I said, I did a full review on those before, so you can go check those out um, in my review list. But what I got today, and I want to show you this. Now look how, look at my size of my hand. I got this little tiny, tiny micro burner, okay? It says here on the back that it's... Uh, the weight of this is 48 grams. It is very, very tiny, and it runs on butane. Now, my curiosity, it does have a little bag here, and I'll, I'll post the price for this uh, somewhere up here. But is this a gimmick, or is it actually something useful? All right, so let's take a look here. Uh, one, two... Three. All right, so there's no stand. This is going to be can top or something else. So it has three distinct holders for probably a canteen, half, half canteen cup at the max. It's not very big. So let me lower my camera down here a little bit. Now, in order to get this to work with your standard cans, obviously... I had to do something, right? This will not screw on to this top. I'm sure I could push it on there, but it would just leak and it would be a mess. So an additional expense is needed for one of these adapters. Let's go ahead and see if I can get that to work. Now this adapter should just screw right in there. And I'm assuming nice and tight. And this adapter then should fit on this can. All right, so it's supposed to be on there. I don't hear any gas. Let's see if I can hear gas. Yep, I can. If, okay, so if I turn that, I can certainly hear gas. Now, nobody's going to want to cook on a can that's this high. You could, but you'd probably want this, you know, be surrounded by some rocks or something like that in the first place. But let's see if it'll light up here. Let's give it a test here. See if I don't burn the house down here. Wow, look at that guy go. That is a flame. And I can adjust it, okay. All right, so the flame is there, without a doubt. Now I'm not gonna try to cook some water because it really won't matter. I just wanted to see that it would work. I'm gonna turn that off here. And I am going to disconnect that. Now, it got warm. Yeah, it's definitely warm. It's gonna be a short video, but I just wanted to show you this. Now, I have multiple, multiple backups for cooking. I have several in storage, full range gas cookers that run off of LPG um, just to have in stock. Now, I, I typically in normal use will go through uh, the full two burner uh, unit about every six months. You know, they're cheap, they, they just don't last. So I have a couple in stock. Typically what happens when I get down to one, I'll just buy two or three more and stack them up. These little camping ones, you know, even when I go camping, I just take a full-size burner set with me, right? Because I got a van, I throw all my gear in there. I've never actually used something like this for camping. I imagine if you're hiking in, either one of these options will be good. I'd almost probably prefer the larger one here. And there's couple reasons for that. It's just you can put a larger pot on it and you know it has its own little legs. 
This guy's cute. I will say that. It's a cute little gadget for sure. Um, it actually costs more than these cheap China made ones. Now I did pick up something else at the same time. Let me show you what I got here. All right, so this came with the bag. Let me see if I can get this bag to open up here. And I'll put the price for this somewhere up here as well. Now what this is, it, now it's heavy duty. This is a heavy duty stand, I can feel it. This is a grill that you can put over one of these guys. And with this on here, you can actually probably grill something, but you can also get better pot and pan support as well. Now, I picked this up because this is something I thought would be more useful to go with these uh, portable cards type stoves that I already had in stock. I just happened to see this on sale the same time I saw this little guy, which was very interesting to me. So the question is, comment down below, do you think this is a, a neat hiking burner unit? Because of, and why? Is it because of its size? Or do you think it's just a gimmick? You know, I'm probably 50-50 on it being something of value. Keep in mind, this costs more than the other card types did, and you had to buy the adapter for that cam. So size-wise, yes, it is very tiny. It is extremely tiny in light, even with the adapter you see here. I don't think it's worth the price I paid for it, which still wasn't very much. I think you're better off getting, at a minimum, something of this size, which was just three or four dollars, I, I can't remember exactly, or just buying a full uh, camping stove, right? So that is my thoughts. I want your thoughts. Go ahead and put them down below. If you like this kind of content, please hit that like button. If you've had experience using these types of devices and you want to give me some advice about what you think about these two, then go ahead and drop that down in the comment section below. Now, keep in mind, I am a prepper and I do prep a lot of things. So I would appreciate it if you take a moment, if this is the first time you've heard of my channel or me, go check out some of the other stuff I do. I do freeze drying my own food with my freeze dryer you see here. Um, I have wells, I do water purification, I have a huge pantry of food. I do medical prep supplies, which is um, beyond what most of you would imagine um, when it comes to prepping medical supplies. Things like plaster of Paris, oxygen tanks, uh, blood transfusion types and kits, things of that nature. Anyways, go check out some of my other stuff, uh, smash that like button. And if you can do me a favor, share this stuff out to people that you know that have the same mindset and are preparing for the future. All right, guys, until next time, be safe.